EU wants Apple to transform the iPhone into an Android phone, allowing users to change and delete default apps on iOS, including phone and messaging. Apple is planning to make a slew of additional changes in the EU once again, and this time, the region is targeting the company's stock apps. According to an update, Apple will soon let users in the European Union change their phone, messaging, password, and keyboard app, making the platform fully customizable when it comes to user experience. EU is seeking additional changes in iOS, eyeing default apps to be replaced and deleted if you are unfamiliar with it. Apple had to comply with the EU to open up the App Store to developers, with the option for them to launch their own with dedicated payment mechanisms. The company has already made various changes to the platform, and it appears that there are a few additional changes that will be made later this year with the iOS 18 update. Later this fall, the company will also allow users in the EU regions to set navigation, translation, and spam filter apps as default moving away from the company's default apps. If you think this is getting out of hand, users will also have the option to delete the default apps like the App Store, Camera, and Photos, as well as the Safari apps. This will make the iPhone an open-ended device, which means that users will be able to download and delete any app that fits their needs. From a border perspective, the new update asks Apple to change how its ecosystem works as most of these apps work in conjunction with the other Apple devices. Additionally, the move will transform the iPhone into a much closer contender to Android in terms of customization for users, allowing them to replace most of the default apps with third-party options. We can also presume that the EU is seeking the iPhone's hardware to be used with any app that the user wishes to install, as it is removing all the restrictions and limitation. S. Apple has set in the past. The company is already battling the default browser debacle with the EU which requires the company to set a choice screen for users that appears when users first stop Safari app on their iPhone. Apple is giving in to various aspects of iOS in the EU, including alternative app stores, which recently allowed Epic Games to bring Fortnite to the platform. We will keep you guys updated on more changes as soon as further details are available.